everybody. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the live stream. Glad to see you all here. Um, today we're doing uh, an actual live project. And let me put that up on the screen over there. So it is the 4th of July. Yes, I know it's Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> but if you know me, you'll know that um, I'm always late for all of the holidays. In fact, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got something in my throat today, so you're going to have to bear with me. Um, what am I looking for here? Oh, here it is right here. In fact, I completely missed the Memorial Day seven layer file that I did, but um, we're going to have more Memorial Day. So this one will be up soon. And these two files, this 4th of July and Memorial Day file, are both files that I did a couple of years ago. And before I was involved in YouTube, uh, I used to create files and sell them on other websites. And I sold these two to a couple of websites, not specifically for them to resell, but for them to have um, in, included in their monthly subscription. You could get all kinds of free files for, you know, $24.95 a month, something like that. So, um, they did not get the copyright rights on them though so what i've decided to do is start taking some of those files that i've sold before redesigning them slightly and giving them out to my uh, subscribers and my patrons and if you're a, uh, a patron to my channel you you get these most of these files for free anyway but um what i'd like you to do right now if you don't mind is right down below there uh if there's a share button so if you could share this to all of your social media accounts and uh, you know you're a laser enthusiast if you share it to facebook i'm sure your friends some of your friends might be laser enthusiasts or your twitter or your whatever it might be um just to get more viewers because if we get more viewers uh, i'm gonna actually give away one of these finished products let me show you really quickly uh i'm going to switch cameras real quick to this one and that is the finished product right there now this one i did with one layer of glitter paper so that's uh let's see four layers one two three five layers and <clears throat> excuse me the red light <clears throat> I'm going to have something in my throat all day, all day today. So I'm sorry about that. It's been oh, since early this morning. Um, that one is one layer of red glitter and the rest is all cardstock paper. So um, let me come back to the other camera real quick. And I did that a couple of times. I've got another one here that I did all glitter and uh, I didn't like the way it turned out. I didn't use the actual right color blue on that. Um, although I, you know, that was just a test file. I did it with some other colors. Uh, I've been working on this for about a week or maybe more. And these are the other card stock colors that I used right here. And, uh, you can do this with regular card stock. You can do it with glitter. If you do it with the glitter card stock, it's gotta be, um, you have to flip it over. So the glitter has to be face down. You know, you want to, cut the back side of the glitter you don't want the laser to be reflecting off of the glitter in every direction imaginable so you have to make sure you flip that over if you're going to do the glitter now i did <clears throat> try the couldn't find white glitter i did try the the silver glitter and didn't quite look right you know so um the stars should be white without a doubt so that, that didn't work out. So I wound up my final uh, product was the red glitter only and the rest of it, different colors of cardstock. And the one that I just showed you that's up there, there <laughs> in the top corner. So um, today uh, I'm going to say we only have 59 people watching right now. But if you share this stream, we get more people in. Uh, I will give away that one that you see right there uh, toward the end of the stream. Uh, it's not going to be a long stream today. I'm just going to be demonstrating how 
I made this and I did go ahead and set up um, another camera and on the Roly Lasermatic right behind me here so that you can see how this cuts out and super high speed, you know, we're dealing with paper. Um, it's, it's just amazing how quickly that it cuts. And I didn't use the light burn camera, as you can see. Uh, I've set up a regular webcam because the light burn camera, the gantry gets in the way and you can't really see what's going on. So I just put another uh, camera in there and I disabled the safety switches so that I can leave the door open. As long as I'm facing in this direction, uh, I don't have to worry about, um, you know, the laser beam. So um, that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> I'm happy that everybody joined. I'm not going to be doing comments, Q&As. Uh, I do have uh, my buddy Steve from Hobo with Wood. He is in the stream and he's monitoring the comments. If anything really needs to be asked, he's going to pop it up on the stream. Thank you for being here, Steve. Uh, I do have uh, my other partner, Patrick, uh, from uh, Lightsource.pro. Uh, he is monitoring the comments section. So, um, you know, if, if you have any questions or whatever that they can't answer and Steve thinks it's appropriate to be on the stream, he'll go ahead and put those up. But today is not a uh, Q&A. It's more of um, the design and how to use the file. Now... I did do a this file in two sizes. So I have the eight inch, which fits perfectly into eight inch square frames. And I did 12, I did that in paper cardstock and I did 12 inch. This is the 12 inch version out of wood. So uh, now this is a really thick, heavy piece. And I also changed it over here to USA so that this can be used any time of the year. I don't know if I can get a good view of this in here. Not really. But this can be used at any time of the year. This can be hung all year round. I did put a, an extra layer up on the top that we'll talk about in a minute, just to give it a little uh, depth, a little more 3D look. And I did paint the sides black. So uh, I didn't finish the back yet, but the only thing on the back is my brand and way down in the bottom over here i decided to start signing and dating uh my work so um that's that's something new as well so this is the 12 inch version and this is regular three millimeter uh plywood and you can get uh either one of these versions this weekend only uh, so it's basic. This is basically for my live stream viewers. Hey, look, if you like uh, seeing live streams every once in a while, uh, let me know in the comments. The guys will make a note of it. And um, hey, I, I can do some more. <laughs> so let's jump over uh, into Lightburn. And let me uh, show you how I or how you would actually use this file. So I'm going to make this file available in a Lightburn art library. And I'm also going to make this file available in AI, SVG, DXF, and uh, what else am I missing there? Uh, the other one, whatever that is. <laughs> but anyway, I'll make it available in vector files if you don't have Lightburn. And I'll also make it available in a Lightburn art library. So here in Lightburn, uh, I'll have the art library. Let's say that you're using Lightburn and all you have to do is pick either eight inch over here or 12 inch over here. One of these two files and just double click it. We'll bring out the eight inch one. Let me zoom out a little bit. And then if I click on that center part right there and align it to the center of the page, uh, which my icons are off the screen. Well, it's pretty much aligned anyway. It doesn't matter. But you can see here are all of the layers. And I believe I've got uh, just the two in here, just the tool path and the cut layer. So let me just make this a little uh, bigger so that it's easier for you to see. So there we go. Now, this is five different layers. This is the first layer right here which is the base layer it's just a cutout uh it's white 
So if you're doing the eight inch version, you would just cut out this white layer. Once that is done and you've run that job, uh, now on the rolly, I don't cut from the middle. What I do is, uh, let me see. I can't see all of my, there we go. Here's all my icons over here. There we go. So I will align this to the top left corner like that. I'll hold control with my arrow key. I'll move down two millimeters, over two millimeters, just to give me a little safe cutting area like that. And then I'll just drop the cardboard, the paper, or the uh, wood right up in the top corner and run the job. So that's layer one. And once you've got that done, what you want to do is put that back down here underneath white. So you keep this organized and you know what colors they have to be. And then same thing over here. Take layer number two. Align this to the top corner. This is what I would do. Down two millimeters, over two millimeters, and cut this one out. These are all cuts. Now, if you have exactly eight inch wood, you can go ahead and ungroup this and delete the outer uh, square like that. That way, if you know that you have exactly eight inch wood <clears throat> and you know, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> you know that you've got it in the top left corner, well, then that's perfect like that. I'm going to go ahead and undo that because we're done with this one now. So once you've done that, put it back over here so that you know that this layer gets painted red and you just go around three, four and five and that's it. So if you're cutting it out of wood, you probably want to cut this one over here. And this is a very thin cutout. So you have to be real careful with it because it will break very easily. Um, so be real careful with that one. And then I've added an optional layer, an alternate layer number five. Instead of 4th of July, you can do USA over here. So either one of those. Now, keep in mind, folks, that you can ungroup this and put whatever letters you want in here. So if you just take it, ungroup it, and then click on the, I didn't want to move that, <laughs> Let me click off of it and select just the text. You'll see that I used the stencil text and you can get these uh, stencil texts, you know, at any free font website. So uh, that's all I did was change 4th of July to USA. And other things are a little more complicated to do. So if you wanted to rearrange the stars, the reason why I have this one so small over here is because of these stars going so close to the edge of the uh, frame here. So um, feel free to do whatever you like as far as reorganizing this file. Now, I even had one of my uh, patrons, which the patrons got a free um, view of this, so I had one of one of my a preview of this, I should say. They got the file for free last week. So uh, I had one of my patrons that made one. So let's see if I can show you that real quick. I will go to this one here. And there it is. And what he made was a door hanger. So he made the file and then... Um, decided to put an extra layer around the outside bigger than the plaque, put some stars out there, drill a couple of holes in it or laser a couple of holes in it. And he hung it on his front door. Thank you, Andy, for that photograph that you sent me. Um, you know, I think that was a, a great adaptation. So um, feel free to do whatever you want uh, with the file. You can change it. You can rearrange it you know, do, do anything that you want and make it your own. Um, I personally think that the best one out of all of them came out with the red glitter paper. So um, that's the only one that I used with the glitter was the red. The rest of them, I just used regular cardstock. Now, uh, you can get cardstock in many places, but it seems that I can't seem to find one that has red white and blue flag colors all in the same package 
So I wound up having to buy uh, three different types of cardstock because I couldn't get the colors to, to match over the last couple of weeks. And you got to keep an eye out for that. If, uh, if you're buying the cardstock like on Amazon, make sure that um, look at it carefully and make sure that you're getting all the right colors in there because I wasted a bunch of money. Well, I didn't really waste it. I do other things with uh, cardstock. Uh, for instance, I remove the the color from it and make thank you notes and stuff like that. But uh, you can do all types of things with cardstock. You can do origami. You know, you can do actual cards. You can make some beautiful um, cards for people like birthday cards and holiday cards and things like that with a laser. Ones that you you can't find the same kind of quality in the store. So. Um, the card stock is always valuable. And I wanted to take a, a moment real quick just to mention that um, this is Memorial Day. So uh, let us not forget that. <laughs> this is from the live stream that we did on Laser Makers Realm. And I think it was a week or two ago. And this is a three dimensional piece here. And this weekend, I this week, I took the time to ask some kids about what this holiday weekend meant to them. And I was very surprised to find out that most of them said, you know, it is a weekend where we barbecue and almost nobody, nobody uh, in, in the younger age group under 16 really understood what this weekend was about. And I know that this is a 4th of July video, but it's also a USA video. And uh, I also just wanted to mention that um, during your holiday weekend this this weekend, don't forget what your day off on Monday is all about. And so, uh, you know, it is a memorial day. Uh, it's a day that we remember the fallen. Uh, we remember all of the Americans that are buried somewhere overseas that we have no idea where they are. Some of them in mass grave graves young kids 18 20 years old that never came home so that is what monday is all about and you know whatever it is that you do just a thought or a memory of the fallen and uh, maybe a prayer if you're so into that um let's just remember what this holiday is all about this particular weekend and i'm sorry that i'm doing this video on the holiday I know a lot of you have much better things to do today, but I, I wanted to get this out way before the 4th of July so that everybody could make it because I'm always late on holidays and people don't go back through my old videos and find other product projects to do. They look for the newer videos. So this is going to be a newer video, show you what to do. And for my live stream viewers, um, you will... Uh, down at the bottom of the screen there, you will see uh, soon enough a link to where you can get this file for free this weekend only. So um, my patrons, of course, they get the file uh, for free. Everybody. So it's it's on the main page at the Patreon website. Um, but for my regular viewers, you'll be able to get this file today and tomorrow. And that's it. And then it'll go back up to regular price in my online store. So um, let's get started. Let me drop a layer onto. I'm wondering if I should go back to um, uh, Lightburn. So yeah, maybe I should. So let's see. Um, I'm going to do a window, Lightburn, and share that so you can see what I'm doing. And what I'm going to do, so I've got the Rolly Lasermatic 10 set up. Let me turn it on. It would help if I turn it on. <laughs> we'll go ahead and turn that on. I do have a sheet of cardstock already on the uh, on the laser. And let me see if it connects i do have this on a long extension cable and even though it says ready i don't think it is nope it's waiting for connection so 
that is typically what's going to happen in a live stream. <laughs> Let me try this one more time. I'll turn it back off and unplug this cable. With these uh, extension cables, sometimes you have to unplug them, plug them back in, see if that works. And other times you need to close light burner and restart it. So I was connected to, let me do that real quick. You know that that's going to happen during a live stream. So I will close that and restart it and hopefully it won't give me any problems i have been having uh, problems today with my usb earlier i had no wi-fi so apparently i'm back to having usb problems again which is not good for a live stream And this would be terrible if I can't. Uh, oh, I see what the problem is. It's the wrong COM port. <laughs> I was on another laser earlier. <laughs> well, it got me nervous there for a second. All right. So let's go back to. Um, I've got to go back to Lightburn. Real quick. I should have known to check the COM ports. Uh, now I've got to come back to my art library, 4th of July. I'm going to pull out the 8-inch one. And there we go. There's the 8-inch. So what I'm going to do now is take and put this, like I said earlier. And actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to do this, this one here. Because this one here has all the stars and stuff in it. That one's just going to make a quick loop around the uh, laser. So let me put that one up there. Let me get rid of this one. Let me move it out two millimeters, two millimeters like that. And I do have to uh, turn on. So now that's all set to go. Let me show you the cuts and layers. So we've got over here is line. I'm going to check that real quick by going to, um, let's see, card stock paper over here. And this is, I got to put it into millimeters so I know what it is. This is the 0 0.20. And this is the dark. So that's right. Okay, so it is the right setting there. So we're going to run this at 3,790 millimeters per minute. And now we can get rid of the light burn screen. And we can go into that camera there which is showing the laser bed and the only thing i have to do now is turn on my air extraction i'll do that real quick and my air assist now you do want to use air assist with this um, not only because you're cutting but um, you know you want the pieces that cut out not to get in the way so the air assist will blow them out of the way so uh, let's see if we can make this bigger. And I will come over here to the laser and hit start. And hopefully everything is set properly. So you can see what I'm talking about with the air assist now, how it blew those, um, those two stars out of the way. <coughs> and now it's cutting out the entire file. One thing I like about uh, Lightburn is that they've added the countdown timer. There is exactly um, 101, 60 seconds left in this entire cut. Now, again, I have disabled the uh, safety switches on the Roly so that um, I can leave the cover open and show you this video live. But that is, to go back to the settings again, 3,790 millimeters per minute. And uh, this is 55 pound or uh, 81 GSM card stock, depending on where you live. But you can see how it's blowing the pieces out of the way. Oops, and I think I may have made another mistake. I didn't pull that top left magnet out of the way. <laughs> 
I, I, I originally planned to do this in the center, and then I did it the way I always do. So it's gonna, it's not going to cut through that one part where the magnet is. But let's take a quick look anyway, even though it didn't cut through up here. That's because of that magnet. But as you can see, all of the rest of these pieces are cut through except this one corner. And there'll be kind of a pain in the butt to move around. But there you go. That's the cardstock. And that's just how long it took. And if I look at the um, time in Lightburn, uh, I have to come to the console. Uh, one minute and 28 seconds was what it took. So there you go. That is just how quick this is to get done. Uh, and this is a 10 watt diode laser. So uh, if you're using a higher powered laser, you can, well, I could go faster and I could raise the uh the power and this is where um, i think a lot of people misunderstand the 20 watt lasers and the 30 watt 35 watt lasers 24 watt lasers there's only so fast that you're going to be able to run your machine in the first place so this is my favorite laser because of the precision you know um i know and from my testing and my uh, library that I created that, you know, I can just click a setting and apply it and that's it. And it's going to work. And this card stock, I have a whole bunch of different card stock in here. Um, this is not in version three that was released recently. This is going to be in version 3.2 that should be released next month. It's going to have all the new card stocks in it. Uh, so if you've bought this on my website, engravencutfiles.com, um, probably about four weeks from now, there'll be version 3.2 in your account there, and you can download the latest version that does have all the card stocks. Um, so, uh, let me see what else did I want to do here? I don't think there was anything else I wanted to talk about with Lightburn. So, once you've got these uh, all cut out, and let me get rid of that. Um, that other camera well i guess that doesn't matter we could leave it there so once you've got these all cut out of your paper then th this like i said earlier is just a cut you know the bottom layer so from there that one just takes a few seconds to cut out from there it's just i think maybe i spent um five minutes or so putting this this whole test together right here so this took about five minutes or so uh, but all of the testing that i did with all of the other ones i did do another one here before i had all of the the right paper this one is uh all glitter uh every layer in this is glitter i know you can't really see it uh in the camera but uh this one is all glitter and i didn't have the right blue glitter so i couldn't get the right blue glitter so that's you know that's that's uh it's important that you get the right colors for this type of a project and this one is all of the right colors so that is a flag red flag blue and you know you've got the white stars so this one is the right color and i'm going to give this one away it doesn't matter it looks like we're not going to reach too many viewers. We're only at 73. So um, I'm going to give this one away just as it is. And I will mail this off to you if you're, you're in the United States. So you have to be in the United States. Uh, I'm going to give that one away before the end of the stream. So stick in there and I will show you before the end of the stream uh, how to get that. We'll have a little drawing like we do on the laser makers realm we did do um some projects for you know memorial day for the holidays this was uh the project that we did i think it was week before last this is this is my gnome 
my my USA gnome and or did I do this one? Maybe I did this one. Who knows? <laughs> I'm getting old now. I don't remember things. But uh, this particular gnome is a, a great project to have around the house. Uh, you know, I have a lot of patriotic stuff around the house. The Let Us Not Forget is another project that we did on the Laser Makers Realm. If you don't see our uh, live streams, just look up Laser Makers Realm on YouTube. We do that every other weekend. This next Sunday will be a live with me, uh, Steve from Hobo with Wood and Patrick from Light Source Engraving. The three of us do the same or similar product uh, project um and we show you the the different results so again with this project i want you to feel free to uh, you know change it if you want to uh, if you want to make the the 12 inch version you can rearrange the stars and have a bigger uh outside lip here so th this is the the 12 inch version you can see it gives more depth this lip on the outside gives it a little more depth. That's why I made it so thin. And so you can do this out of wood. You can do this out of cardboard. You can do this out of cardstock. You can do it out of acrylic. Uh, there are so many different materials um, that you can use to make this project. And uh, But I think the fastest and easiest one, if you want a quick and easy project, is going to be out of the cardstock or the glitter paper. And remember folks to uh, flip that glitter paper over if you're using the glitter so that it's face down so that you see the white side, the back side of the glitter to cut it out and uh, reverse the image. So um, that is about it. And actually I'm gonna take a look at some of the comments over here real quickly before we wrap this up. And I want to thank you all for being here, everybody that's that's here right now. Uh, just looking through here, I see there's there's a bunch of people. And let me set up the contest. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do that. And I have to quickly look over here and... All right. I got it. All right. I'm setting up the contest for you all. I am going to give it away regardless. So uh, we're going to do pound. I want it. That's what we're going to do. So in the comment section, if you want this desktop version right here, it's got a little stand where you can uh, put it on your desk or you can hang it from the wall either way. So if you want this little desktop version with the red glitter, um, all you have to do is put pound. I want it all one word. Let me put that up on the screen right there down below. <laughs> so you have to type it exactly like that pound. I want it. And by the end of today's stream, um, you know, uh, I'll pick somebody from there. Now, I don't know what just happened because I, I lost it. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this back. Today has not been a good uh, technology day. All right, so, so far we've got 20 entries. Hey, that's pretty good. I guess a lot of people want it. <laughs> hey, Rich, this is Steve Hobo with Wood. Uh, yeah. punct punctuation matters, uh, capitalization matters, right? They need to be all lowercase, no I don't, spaces. I don't know that. <clears throat> I'm not sure about that, Steve. Okay. I, I, I don't, but it has to be all of those characters. Right, okay. And I want it. Because you got a lot of them with different capitalizations, and I was like, man, if just to, just to be safe, guys, I would do it just like he has it on the screen. All lowercase pound. I want it. That yeah. way you, you know you're included. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. I'm not so sure that uh, punctuation matters or not. 
Um, so far, we've got 26 entries, it looks like. Um, so that is the, uh, the keyword if you want to win this, this prize. Now, another thing, too, is that um, you can get this file for anybody that, um, you know, everybody that doesn't win it. <laughs> you can get this file. Let me cough here real quick. I don't know what's going on in my throat. It's been like this all day. Um, you can get this file on my website, engraveandcutfiles.com. Again, down below. I've got it right down there. You can get it for free this weekend only, Memorial Day weekend only, um, Saturday, Sunday, today and tomorrow, with the coupon code JULY4TH, July 4th. And there is the code down below, scrolling down below the screen on this side, all the way across the screen. Uh, there is the code in print. So it's J-U-L-Y-4-T-H, July 4th. Um, so if you go to engraveandcutfiles.com, it should be the first file that you see. And you just click on that, add it to your cart, go to checkout, use that coupon code. And for this weekend only, that file is going to be free for everybody that either is in the live stream today or um, or uh, tomorrow. So today or tomorrow. So there is the coupon code right there. Um, if you like everything that uh, I do, my videos, I know lately the videos have been have been not coming as often as you've seen in the past. The reason for that was I was on vacation for two weeks and I had a medical issue that I'm dealing with. So um, even this morning I went for an MRI. So I've uh, been for two of them this week already. Uh, but anyway, uh, so things are a little bit slow. That's one of the reasons I'm doing the live stream today uh, is because I haven't had time to make another video, but I am in the process today of making tonight i will be of making another video um, that should be up monday and that's something that you're going to watch want to watch too because uh there are lots of videos out there on how to make money with your laser engraver but um i haven't found one yet that talks about marketing and one thing that i learned early on was there are two key things and being successful at selling your laser products online. And I'm going to tell you what those two key things are in Monday's video. So keep an eye out for that one. Uh, if you're in a, uh, online seller, if you're selling on Etsy or you have your own web store or whatever it might be, you're going to want to watch that video because, uh, it, it took me and other people when I first, uh, discovered this, I went from zero sales on Facebook Marketplace to more sales than I could handle. Uh, and then over time, uh, speaking with people on the phone, my subscribers, people that emailed me, things like that, um, I would uh, send them a copy of these two rules that I have, these two things that I do that make products sell online. So you're not going to want to miss that video. That's going to be Monday's video. So uh, right now, engraveandcutfiles.com, coupon code July 4th, and you'll get that, um, you'll get that file for free. Uh, if you want to make a donation to the channel, there is a thanks button somewhere down there, <laughs> right down there, over there, over there, right about there. <laughs> I don't, left is right and right is left when, when you're doing the live stream. I think it's like right over there somewhere. There's a thanks button. If you want to donate a cup of coffee or something like that, um, you can also uh, send me a donation at PayPal. Um, you know, I've got all kinds of free files for you on engraveandcutfiles.com. Got my uh, uh, my forum, lahobbyguy.com. If you go to the forums over there, there are tons of art libraries that are there for free download. Um, there are templates over there. There's all kinds of advice. I think we have about 40,000 members there now. So uh, if you're not on the forum, you're definitely going to want to sign up over there because there's lots of stuff going on that you just won't find anywhere else. And it's focused on makers. 
So mostly lasers, but uh, there, there are sections there for, uh, you know, 3D printers and, and such. And, you know, I get emails every day. Where can I get a fiber laser uh, library? Well, we've got uh, one or two of them up there already in the fiber section. And uh, Patrick at uh, Light Source Engraving is working with someone else, and they're putting together a converter um, to convert that file into any type of uh, laser source or power. So look for that, too. So you want to be on that uh, on that forum for sure. So um, that's about it for today. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Only 32 entries. Okay, that's really surprising. I have 50, over 53,000 subscribers. <laughs> uh, only a, a few showed up today. I guess it's because of the weekend, but that's okay. You know, even though it's just 32 entries, I'm still going to give it away. I'm going to wait... Uh, Let's see, it's 3.41. I wanted to definitely keep this under an hour today. We are at 41 minutes. I guess I'll go a couple more minutes, and then uh, we'll do the drawing and see what happens. So 32 entries. Very surprising. Okay, if you do have any questions, now would be the time to ask. And I'm going to skip over all of the comments and come all the way down to the bottom here. Do you want to keep the, do you want to keep the questions related just to this project or in general questions too? Yeah, pretty much. So uh, thank you, Patrick, for that donation. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Seems like it's only been 15 minutes. <laughs> Well, I, I didn't have much to do today, so I basically just wanted to show you the file, uh, how I made it, what the different versions are that you can do. Oh, there is one thing that um, I wanted to, before we uh, cut this off, there is one thing I wanted to do. So let me come back to Lightburn. I just wanted to show you something really quick. If you're doing the, so let me get rid of this. Uh, we'll get rid of all those. And let's say that we're doing the 12-inch version, okay? So let's go ahead and bring the 12-inch version in. Let me click on that and put it to the center of the screen. All right. So now you're doing the 12-inch version. You do not need to have all of these outside borders. So if you have a 12-inch uh, piece of wood, well, if you know that it's exactly 12 inches or almost, this is actually 11 and three quarters, so it should work well with any 12-inch piece of wood. You don't have to cut this first layer if you're doing this on wood, okay? And you also don't have to cut any of these. So you just select the layer, ungroup it, and, and go ahead and delete the outer box if you're doing this on 12-inch piece. And the same thing goes for eight inch. If you have exactly eight inch pieces of wood and you know, you, you know you've you got a precision laser, you're able to dock it into uh, a corner of your honeycomb grid, or you've, uh, you've set up a square where you know that it's exactly in the right position, then you can just go ahead and delete all of the outside, ungroup, delete all of the outside uh, squares like that. So that will save you a whole lot of time on the wood because then you're just cutting out those parts right there. So um, I chose to, my piece of 12 inch wood, uh, I chose to cut out the outside square because I wanted everything to align perfectly. Um, so that was important for me for the finished product. I'm gonna hang this on my wall and I wanted to make sure that all of the edges were perfect. So um, I'm not, I can't, I don't really depend on um, the vendor cutting these perfectly. So at least I know if I did do the outside edge that it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna assemble perfectly. There's no lip on here whatsoever. And it looks like a real uh, professional product. So this is gonna hang on the wall beautifully. Uh, my wife absolutely loves it, so she can't wait to hang it up. 
<laughs> she wanted to hang it up before the, the stream today. And I said, oh, no, we can't do that. <laughs> and don't forget, uh, I've got this other, for next year, this other seven-layer memorial. That's And this is my uh, just my prototype that I've cut out of cardstock. Uh, but I've got this other seven-layer shadow box that I'm going to be putting up. And you can do that one next year. <laughs> we have a Memorial Day every year. So uh, let's take a look real quick. And I'm going to say last call on, uh, let's see. Hang on one second so I can edit this. Nope, I don't need to edit that. So where am I at? Oh, here it is. So there we go. Last call for the I want it. We've only got 37 entries so far. Um, we're going to wait maybe another minute or two, and then we're going to uh, draw for this, this one right here. So if you're in the United States, lower 48, uh, and you're entered in here, you can win this one from this live stream today. So have you tried LED lights with your shadow boxes? No, I don't get into the whole LED thing just because um, the whole battery issue, uh, you know, where to set everything up, the how to hide it and everything else. With something like this, it's almost impossible. Um, but you know, you feel free to do what, whatever you want. Uh, I know there, there are tons of ways to do it. Um, it should be done with a battery because you don't want to have the cord hanging down from the wall. Um, but if you do it with a battery, uh, you have to be able to hide the mechanism. And uh, there's just a lot of assembly uh, involved in a lot of planning. But uh, it can be done with the cardstock paper. It's not going to make much of a difference because you're only going to uh, you're only going to light the, it's going to look like one layer. Uh, the wood, you can actually see the 3D depth of the shadow box. Uh, and that would look great. I guess you could, you know, put in a couple of, uh, LEDs behind like the blue layer or something like that. And that would look nice, but no, I've never done that. Um, I'm, I'm more into designing files, uh, and things like that. And now that I'm not uh, working or selling any products anymore. Uh, I'm just doing the YouTube channel, um, you know, retired from the other, the other shop, which I started, uh, about a year ago. Um, and that runs itself now and I'm concentrating on YouTube. I'm more into designing the actual files themselves. So yeah, no, uh, yeah, you can always rewatch a live video. Uh, on the channel you just go to my channel and you'll see the uh you'll see the live tab uh if you go to the channel home and then it'll say live you can see all of the past live live videos and i will be reposting this video as a replay later on today yeah mm -hmm. so i think we're about ready i'm going to take a look we're at 43 entries okay <laughs> that'll have to do so let me come to let me stop this other camera let's remove that let me go to this one and there we go so um if everybody's ready we are going to click draw here we go Susan Paul. <laughs> Congratulations, Susan. Uh, thank you so much for being here. So now all I want you to do is send an email to uh, the LA hobby guy at gmail.com. I don't even know my own email address. <laughs> Put in there that uh, you won the 4th of July plaque and give me your mailing address. So I need the street address, no PO boxes, street address, uh, city, state, zip, and that's it. And I will get this out to you uh, pronto. So there we go. Uh, that's it. 
three. Let's see where you're at. 50 minutes and 34 seconds. My goal today was 60 minutes or less. And I think we we hit that and <laughs> we're in good shape. So uh, that's it for today's uh, video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, for those of you that didn't get to see it, I will be reposting the replay later. But you can always go to my channel and you can click on the live tab and you'll see you can rewatch the live from there. But I will repost it under the normal videos uh, in just a little while. So that's it. Done today. We've got the, the USA, the 12-inch shadow box made out of wood, and we've got the 8-inch shadow box made out of cardstock. So I hope everybody enjoyed today's live stream. Uh, maybe we'll do another one in the future. Maybe this was just an off weekend. <laughs> And too many people are out uh, partying on Memorial Day weekend. But, uh, yeah, I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, enjoy your day off on Monday. Remember to remember the fallen. That's what this is all about. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I appreciate you coming. And look for Monday's video. That's going to be the video on the two tips to be able to sell your products online that very few people understand. So thank you everybody for watching. And I want to just say thank you and I'll see you in the next one.